it's really grim for a lot of people that are using this filter. Some people, it seems like, are using a different filter entirely because they get like a little bit of a laugh line and like maybe a single crow's feet. And then I do the filter and I look like a fucking hag from a swamp that's 900 years old. Shall we try it? Because I haven't tried it yet. Ugh, you haven't? Okay, fine. No. I'll do it. I don't want to look at it again, but I'll do it for you, Michaela. I look like Ian McKellen was dragged through a hedge backwards. <laughs> Rode hard and put away wet. This is also like if I've never worn sunscreen in my life. That's why I think mine, because I sort of look like my uncle and my dad. I think it's exactly what I'm going to look like. It's homophobic. <laughs> it's horrible. Oh my God, Paris. You look nicer. You look better than I do. Did you see that movie, My Teacher, The Octopus? My Octopus Teacher, where the guy basically f***ed that octopus. What? They did not have sex. Michael, everybody thought that. There was a strangely weird sexual obsession that he had with that octopus. Okay, well, I thought it was beautiful and it made me cry. It was weird. It got so weird. You know he, like, gave himself a handjob with that octopus at some point. I have no doubt in my mind. Oh, I don't even want to No. Allegedly, we have no proof of this, but if you watch the documentary, think about it yourselves, divas. They said, Ariana Grande and her husband, Dalton Gomez, have separated and are heading towards divorce, TMZ reports. And then a user on Twitter named Rohita Kadambi quote tweeted it with, Pete Davidson has the opportunity to do the funniest possible thing. Wait, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson were a couple at one point. Michael! What? What? I don't know. Sometimes I just want to shake you. Uh, well, you can't because I'm in New Jersey and you're in California. Uh, well, when I get my hands on you. <laughs> and I know your arms are long, but they're not that long. <laughs> Yes, they were famously a couple for a solid chunk of time. Really? He's mentioned in at least one of her songs. Oh, wait, there's also a full song called Pete Davidson on one of the albums. I'm going to get flogged for this. So I love her. I think she's gorgeous. I think she's hysterical. And I think her voice is insane. Like, she's such a good singer. However, her pop albums make me bananas. What? Because she purposely tries to sing like a pop singer. So even though she's like incredibly well-trained and has beautiful diction, when she sings in a lot of her pop songs, she's like, and I'm like, girl, I can't understand a word you're saying. And you're purposely affecting your voice to match a style. And I'm like, you could be like one of those like, Ugh, like a Christina Aguilera, like a Whitney Houston. Like you can sing. A Beltress. She is a Beltress. And you are choosing to sing in a way that I'm like, no, don't lower your voice to public standards, raise our standards to your talent. Like, does that make sense? No, it actually very much does make sense. I will say she's one of the greatest pop divas. And so I find her pop stuff so frustrating. That's fair. She's one of the greatest pop divas of all time. The pop music is absolutely incredible. And the vocals are still there, but I completely get what you're saying because that was actually my initial hang up with Billie Eilish uh -huh. because her first album was very like and I was like girl I know you can belt and I know it's gorgeous give it to me mm -hmm. but that's not what she was doing it's her art I get it but you make an understandable point I don't think that was as terrifying as I was afraid it would be this third one is this Ken is a pathological liar and he has braces. <laughs> this person posted a true novella about a guy that they matched with. And I don't even know where to begin with this guy. He said he was a CFO of like a really big company and that he was a millionaire and he was sending pictures of him in like luxury department stores, trying on these expensive clothes. And he was sending videos of him touring expensive apartments. And then this girl, for some reason, agreed to meet him in Princeton at a hotel. And then she got there and he looked really different than what he said. His his selfies and his photos weren't recent. He was, he like looked a lot older. He had metal braces. If they're metal braces, you know the teeth were mangled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, if he couldn't just opt for a Visalign, you know it must have been bad. Which means like, how long have you been neglecting your dental health, sir? You're an adult. Yeah. I mean, truly, like lying is one thing. Catfishing is one thing. But neglecting your dental hygiene is just next level. Like, get out of here. Worse. Unforgivable. 